Tires are also a top 10 CSA violation that take a lot of preparation. So first I inspect the tires on the steering axle of this power unit. The minimum tread depth would be 4 30 seconds inch tread. I insert a tire tread depth gauge into one of the four major tread grooves and if I have less than 4 30 seconds in any major tread, that would be a violation. For an out of service condition, it would be any tread depth less than 2 30 seconds of an inch. Even if the tire has adequate tread depth, there are still other issues that can lead to violations, thus adversely affecting CSA scores as well. Any tires with body ply or belt material exposed through any part of the tire is non-compliant. Look out for separation in the tire material, which can happen as the tire ages. One often overlooked problem is if tires are exceeding their manufactured load limit. All tires have a capacity embossed on the sidewall of the tire. Always make sure the weight imposed on any set of tires are within these limits. Next, I look for tires that are flat or have a leak that can be heard or felt. I also look for underinflation. The out of service criteria specifically outlines a major area of noncompliance that results in shutdown, which are flat or underinflated tires. Maximum tire pressure is indicated on the sidewall of the tire. Inflation is an area of the tire that is considered out of service if it has 50% or less of the maximum inflation pressure that is marked on the sidewall. After inspecting all of the tires on the steering axle, I look at any tire on any non-steering axle at both the tractor and the trailer. We check for the same items noted earlier, except now the minimum tread depth for any non-steer tire is 230 seconds when measured in any major tread groove. The out of service criteria states that non-steer tires are out of service if less than 1 30 seconds inch tread is detected when measured at two adjacent tread grooves at three locations on the wheel, eight inches apart. You now see that the drive axle tires are dual. There are a few additional inspection techniques that should be used with duals. When checking for a flat tire, ensure you depress the inside sidewall of each tire with your hand to ensure that they are not underinflated or flat specifically the inside dual tire. Our Meritor Tire Inflation System, MTIS by PSI, eliminates the number one cause of tire problems, underinflation. By providing continuous inflation that maximizes tire life for savings of up to $1,960 per trailer per year. MTIS can be purchased and applied to new trailers. Plus, it can also be retrofitted for existing trailers in your fleet. MTIS is a proven smart investment because payback is possible within six months of installation. For more information and to see the MTIS payback calculator, see MeritorCYA.com today. Next, I check wheels and rims for cracks, broken or missing lugs, studs or clamps, bent or cracked rims, bleeding rust stains, loose and damaged lug nuts, and elongated stud holes. Be sure to cover your assets with the Meritor Wheel Bearing Adjustment System with Dr. Preload and Temper Lock Spindle Nuts for extended bearing, wheel seal, and tire life. The system sets the bearings to precise preload settings with a simple, reliable process. For more information, see MeritorCYA.com today. Any circumferential crack to a rim is considered an out-of-service violation. I also look for loose, missing, broken, cracked, or stripped wheel fasteners when meeting certain thresholds. With this rim, we have 10 lug nut positions. If on any spot on the wheel, three of them were in violation, that would be out of service. If two adjacent positions are in violation, that is also out of service. Be sure to cover your assets and seal out grime, water, and road contaminants while keeping vital lubricants in with Meritor premium and standard wheel seals. The rigid design does not require any special tool and significantly reduces potential for damage during installation. The multi-zone labyrinth design and low friction barrier deliver unmatched protection against contaminants while reducing heat buildup. For more information, see MeritorCYA.com today. I check all drive shaft components and connections to make sure they're not loose, broken, or cracked, including the yoke, center bearings, and universal joint. A potential out-of-service violation includes any broken or loose center bearing bracket, bolts, or mounting hardware. I also verify the serviceability of the drive shaft itself. 
Be sure to CYA with the complete lineup of Meritor drivelines, U-joints, and center bearings for long-lasting, low-maintenance performance in demanding heavy-duty applications. The Meritor Extended Lube MXL driveline cuts lubrication in half, and our Permalube RPL driveline is permanently lubricated to lower maintenance. Plus, we have a full line of genuine and all-fit U-joint center bearings, yokes, and seals from the driveline leader. For more information, see MeritorCYA.com today. On steering axles, I check for loose, worn, bent, damaged, or missing parts. I instruct the driver to rock the steering system back and forth. I'm checking the components of the steering shaft, the steering gearbox, the pitman arm, the drag link end, and ball and socket joints and tie rods. A common out of service violation is ball and socket joints. When I apply hand pressure, anything greater than an eighth of an inch of movement would be considered an out of service violation. Be sure to cover your assets with the durable lineup of Meritor axles for tractors and trailers. Our 100-year heritage of axle leadership is something you can rely on all the way. For more information, see MeritorCYA.com today. Thanks for watching the Meritor CYA with CSA video series. We hope that by knowing what the FMCSA is looking for, you'll be prepared to CYA in your next CSA roadside inspection. Hey Rick, where can they get more information? Well, John, for more information, be sure to visit us on MeritorCYA.com.